Hi, welcome to the Market Alert for Friday the 3rd of August 2018. So yesterday the pound quiet until uh, Carney spoke. You can see the pound trading up to the 200 bar average and for some reason the pound didn't like it and uh, down she went. Traders moving it to the downside before we had a bit of a bounce and then uh, we got the sort of double bottom test there. So the interest rate rise yesterday it's uh, the which is quite fascinating actually the the rate uh, has risen by a quarter of a percentage point from 0 0.5 to 0 0.75 um, the highest level since March of 2009 I mean this is just staggering isn't it I think this is nearly 10 years later or certainly 10 years uh, this month for the financial crisis and uh, here we are with interest rates of 0 0.75 and so-called uh, alleged recovery which is absolute nonsense they've uh, blown the debt from uh, 65 trillion in 2008 to 247 trillion now so uh, that's the only thing that's kept the global economy going and uh, improved the wealth and lifestyle for one percent of the uh, the population i.e the rich so uh, without getting political but that's the the, the actual uh, facts and yeah i mean you have to question things like this some uh, business groups question the decision to raise rates the right now ahead of the uk agreeing a brexit deal with the european union it's nothing to do with that it's the same in the us we rising rates since december of 2015 i mean at least they say that yellen had a bit more foresight than carney in that uh, they're going to have to drop rates again because when the next crisis hits the rates will have to come back down unless the bonds of course so uh, nobody wants to buy the bonds and the yields increase i mean it's already over three percent for the 30-year treasury uh, but that aside the, the, the method in this madness uh, particularly the us like i say that had the foresight they know there's going to be another uh, cyclical crash recession call it whatever you want and what they've done is raise rates in advance of this so they can actually drop them again it's nothing to do with normalizing rates if you look at a long-term interest rate chart you will see the interest rates have been dropping since 1980 so nothing to do with that at all so it's going to be interesting uh, and that's why he's done it he doesn't give two hoots about uh, interest rates and the impact on brexit it's giving him some uh, uh, wiggle room when uh, the next uh, crisis actually sets in it's as simple as that not that he's got a, a lot of wiggle room, I might add, at uh, 0.75 down to uh, zero. And then he got three interest rate drops there. And that isn't going to make a fat lot of difference to anybody who's sitting on uh, government-assisted deposits for a mortgage and also uh, uh, meeting the five-year payment on that. I mean, it's the, the whole thing's a mess, frankly, when you uh, to peel back the, the layers and look at it um, for what it is. But anyway, that was the, the market's reaction, and that may be because of the market's reaction, uh, that they're not uh, happy about this at all, uh, which normally the pound would actually go up when you've got a rate rise, but uh, not for yesterday. It could uh, rally today, could do a straight reversal, and the market trading down to the 76% uh, there for yesterday. So we'll see how that uh, pans out. Uh, meanwhile, the uh, Dow yesterday uh, trading down to the 20 bar moving average in the daily chart through the 76% and then rallying all the way back, which you will see here. You can see there the market moving higher, uh, working its way down in the pre-market session. You can see down uh, 100 points there and then uh, come over to here. You can see the market uh, putting in some nice volume here. Again, this price bar I've spoken of a long time in the market overview that coming off the lows volume very high then we get the signal then we get the 76 percent retracement and then we get uh, the move to the upside and also through the 200 bar moving average as well we get uh, the signal there so the dow moving back off the lows yesterday it's got a long way to go back to the highs but i don't think it's going to manage that you can see the markets down on the overnight as well at the moment it's going to struggle but one thing that uh, I would uh, do here and I'm just going to uh, have a bit of a clear up here for a minute is this what I would be looking for any any move back to the upside in this market I would uh, certainly look at 25.475 as a stumbling block for any up move 
and in Bitcoin we see uh, the market continuing to move lower this was signaled and 7210 is going to be an interesting area if this is broken then we can expect to see uh, a rapid fall down to these sorts of levels and then down to here and then down to here as well like I keep uh, saying I've not seen any climatic action to finish this move to the downside of as uh, we would uh, normally so we'll keep an eye on it I mean it may not come back that far but certainly uh, the, the the sell side of this market uh, at the moment yesterday uh, prices tried to uh, come back you'll see uh, uh, yesterday you just find the uh, the market was moving down nicely and you can see how they came back in and tried to buy the market and then failed and then overnight once the market got back to the DB level prices have then uh, since uh, moved lower and uh, currently uh, short at the moment as well right uh, that will uh, do it uh, for this one if there's anything to report I will let you know as we head into the weekend it'll be interesting to see uh, what the non-farm payroll figures are today as well that's just reminded me we've not looked at the news that's the big one uh, for today uh, keep an eye on this one this is out at 1.30 uh, forecast a slight drop there to 191 from 2.30 in the previous month so let's see if they can uh, get anything higher than uh, 191 that will certainly boost the uh, Dow there nothing else really to uh, talk about but certainly 130 keep an eye on those uh, non-farm payroll figures it's the only thing that seems to move the markets uh, these days right that's it for this one as ever thanks for watching see you in the next one